Okay, so I'm putting together a pocket accountability for custom maids and separating it out by quarters. I've got a revenue, expenses, NOI. I need to figure out how to score it now. Um, some of this stuff doesn't have data, like this is our first year, so it's not gonna have percent change of the previous quarter. Previous quarter. I wonder if I can color code these. Do that later. Um, but now I want to figure out how to score it. So like for payroll expenses to keep up with revenue. Okay, so revenue, I want it to. and then NOI because it has to remain profitable. Okay. And to growth. Started using nurturally here. Okay, so I want to be good. This one I need to fill out <clears throat> a little bit better. I gotta do all of those. Okay, so I'm going to put this scoring together and I will... This one needs, oh, two needs one. I will put this together and then um, I'll be doing more videos like this just so you can see it, but it's only going by quarters, so there's not going to be a ton of updates, but this gives me the best visibility in, in how the company is performing and um, if there are any issues with growing the team or growing the book of business or um, if our profitability is going down because while we do want to make more money, we want to make sure that our profitability is also uh, staying the same or close to it. Though when you grow, uh, your margins uh, get a little bit smaller. They get a lot smaller the bigger you get. Um, you just have uh, more working parts. You have more people working for you, all that stuff. It just costs money. Um, so it's not a bad thing to um, be less profitable provided that you are um, growing your team, you're growing your book of business, uh, thus your revenue. Uh, so as long as those are being met, I believe we'll be okay, but this is what this is for. 
uh, to help me learn. So stay tuned for these. This will be, uh, or stay tuned for these recaps. These will be pretty fun. Talk to you later.